Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tony and Joe from Lone Wolf Paintball, and today we're going to be talking about how to start your own paintball team. All right, guys, first off, uh, I want to say that no matter what, the first thing that you need to do is get out there and play. Get out to your local fields, get out there, start to mingle with other players. Say if you can only make it on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, at least try to go one day a week the same day to meet up with those other players that you've been playing with and kind of you build a little camaraderie between each other. Hey, I'm, you know, if I show up to Lone Wolf on Friday, I know Jason, Jack, and John are going to be there. And, you know, you've already got three other guys that you've established a relationship with at your local field. So once again, get out there and play. And you got to make yourself known to be able to, A, find yourself some players to play on your team, and B, to build some reputation as to, you know, if someone, the manager or the field owner, know, oh, there's there's John today, and he's a good player. He's, he's shown a lot. So uh, first thing to do, get out there and play, guys. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. I would, uh, you know, you'll certainly echo that. You guys just got to get out there and, and uh, just get out there and play every single weekend. Uh, like Tony said, start building your reputation as a player. You know, people know, hey, this guy's serious. He's dedicated. You know, a lot of times, you know, if you're just, you know, if you never played before, no one knows you. You know, you put out a post, hey, I'm, I'm looking to start a team. You know, you get crickets because no one knows you. You haven't been out there. You haven't put in the reps. You haven't put in the time. Um, so yeah, that's a hundred percent. The building block is the best way to start a paintball team is to play paintball and to play a lot of paintball, start building your reputation up, getting your skills up. Um, you know, the big thing is, you know, go out there and, you know, find at your local field, find when those other better players are going to be there. Don't just, you know, don't just think, well, I'm going to start a paintball team and I'm going to get great by going out and playing walk-ons, you know, getting out, playing paintball, no matter what is awesome. But, you know, you do need a, you know, if you're looking to get competitive, you need to go out there and play against the better players, you know, talk, you know, start hanging out the fields, finding out when team practices are and things like that. And when, when there's tournaments and getting out there, you're going to get shot guys. I'm like, we've all, we've all been there. You're going to get shot up. You just prepare yourself. You know, if you're, you're new or you're trying to start a team, regardless, if you start a new team, you're going to get shot. You're going to get beat up on a little bit. So not, not to dis, you know, discourage you guys, but you just got to just, you know, you can't be afraid. Just go out there, just play. Like Tony said, uh, you know, be out there mingling with people, introducing guys, just kind of start becoming that face at your local field and, you know, at the, uh, you know, other fields around that, you know, people start to know you, they know you're serious. Um, so when you want to start up a team, you know, people will actually go, all right, you know, that's something, you know, that's someone I would like to play with. You know, you need to be that type of guy that people would want to, you know, want to play with or, you know, other teams that may want to be interested in picking you up and things like that. So get out there, play, get yourself known, you know, be active in the, uh, in the local scene, you know, you know, don't be afraid to go out there and play against better guys, um, you know, for sure. So, yeah, that's huge. I would say, uh, definitely second what he said. Playing against better players, in my opinion, is one of the biggest things. It's A, going to get you recognized, and B, going to get yourself better to get put on those better teams. When you go out there and you realize, oh, there, there's those you know, four or five guys that they're good. You want to put yourself on the opposite team and play against them to learn why are they so good. Were they snap shooting? Were they laning me off the break? Were they running and gunning and shooting me? You want to get out there. You want to play against the better players, whether you're going to get your bruises up front, but it's going to pay off on the back end to uh, to better yourself in the future. So I would definitely, definitely second that. So, yeah, and then, uh, you know, so aside from just getting out there, playing, or, you know, so, you, you know, you, um, you know, you've been to the field, you're going every weekend, you know, you're going multiple nights, you're, you know, getting your skills sharp. You know, if you're serious about starting a team, you know, uh, you know, paintball's expensive. Um, you know, there's no, no bones about it. Um, you know, the equipment's not cheap. You know, once you have it, though, you get good stuff. It'll last. Um, you know, your bigger spent, you know, is going to be paint and things like that. Um, you know, so the next step, aside from just getting out there and playing paintball a lot to even get yourself to... Um, get yourself even close to caught up to speed to start playing competitively. Uh, you want to go out and, you know, reach out to guys like Tony and I, you know, go to your local fields or, you know, fields within your area. Um, start talking to the guys that run the fields, the owner, the field manager, things like that. You know, see what other teams they have, you know, like I'd mentioned, finding out when team practices are. You know, a lot of fields will run, you know, special team practices early on Sunday mornings or sometimes on, you know, Saturday nights or, you know, things like that. Um, you know, so that, that would definitely be the next step is really getting in tune with the guys that, you know, own and operate the fields around you, you know, finding out when they're having events and practices. And, you know, like we said, again, going back to just get out there and play, you know, find out when those special events are. Um, you know, like I mentioned, obviously it is expensive. So if you are looking to start up a team, um, you know, so that's, you know, one thing you want to do is reach out to local fields. I'll tell you guys, 
Um, you know, one, you need, you know, first and foremost, you need to drop un any unrealistic expectations. You know, a lot of these kids come to us, say, I want to start a team and we want to be sponsored. Well, you know, one, you know, you don't want to pro, you know, you don't want to approach guys like that unless you're, you know, infamous and you've been, <laughs> you've been a pro team and you got a you, reputation yeah, again, you know, again, the reputation, but, uh, you know, reaching out to your local fields, you know, just, you know, just seeing, you know, seeing what you can do for them, you know, cause that's what a sponsorship is. A sponsorship is, you know, is, you know, you guys as a team providing some type of benefit to either your local field or to uh, a manufacturer that supplies gear and things like that. So, uh, that would be my second biggest recommendation is definitely just, you know, dropping the unreal unrealistic expectations that you're going to be get some big sponsorship package and they're going to throw guns and paint and money at you and, you know, the girls and the fame and the glory and all that stuff comes later. <laughs> so, um, you know, you got to start somewhere, you know, so reach out to the local fields, um, you know, say, hey, you know, we're interested in starting a team, you know, you know, you know, you know, what type of stuff could we do? You know, how could we benefit your field? You know, they may say things like, well, you know, if you're, you know, we might we might need help. You know, fixing up our woods fields on the weekends or things like that. You know, so that's a lot of things you guys can do for you know in exchange to you know get some better deals. But hey, we want to come out and start practicing every weekend. You know, that's uh you know that would be another thing to uh you know see if you can work out some practice rates, things like that. You know, fields are always willing to you know you know usually work with you a little bit again you know within reason and whatnot. But uh, you know the biggest thing to really grow your sponsorship and your value. Is you know find out you know find out what you can do to help out you know maybe the field will say hey we have a tournament coming up and you know we need some extra guys to ref or we need some extra help with setting up the airball field so there's a lot of things you know young new teams can do uh, to help out their local field you know to offset some costs and things like that you know so it, you know it's a uh, relationship it's a working agreement so I said a lot of guys just kind of you know think just because they started a new team they're going to get the world handed to them so that's not how it works you can ask any of these guys <laughs> that play on pro programs they'll tell you. You know, Tony, I, you know, we played forever in the mana. You're going to spend money, that's for sure. So that would be, uh, would, you know, be prepared for that. So Before you get any big sponsorship <laughs> or anything like that, which those really truly don't even exist anymore, but definitely can help you out, you got to have your reputation built up. Go out there, get your local events, go to some semi, semi-national semi events if you can in the future, and uh, you got to do well at them, and then you can come with your resume, per se, and say, hey, look, I've won this or podium this this and this i mean it's all it's a it's a building process you got to start somewhere though as joe said uh you got to build up your reputation to really think that you're going to get sponsored by anybody because that's the biggest misconception is like he said kids coming in i'm going to start this team i'm just going to get sponsored they don't hand out sponsorships it's not 2000 anymore it doesn't happen like that um Furthermore, I would say being active in the online community, social media is also going to help you. Reach out. There's a ton of Facebook pages out there that involve are involved with paintball. So just you know, see guys on there. You can even message them. Hey, do you play for a team? Are you local? All sorts of stuff. Just be active uh, online as well. I mean, if you're really looking, Facebook's huge these days. So if you want to get connected with other players that could be potentially on your team, be online. Be at the local fields. Be everywhere that you can if you're super serious about getting a team started yeah yeah from there um yeah like i said so you know now you've gone you know you're you're out there playing you're meeting people things like that um you know obviously you're you know starting to meet up with other guys that are there on the weekends um start finding some interest you know now you've you know you've been out there people are starting to know you they're starting to recognize you you know you've gone to your local field you've started talking to the shop owners you know, maybe seeing if you could work out, you know, you know, some type of, uh, some type of arrangement to help offset the cost and whatnot. Um, you know, so the next step, you know, you had the next big push, like Tony said, would be really trying to, you know, we're trying to recruit guys. If you're fortunate enough to find, you know, enough guys local that are ready to make the commitment, you know, that's awesome. Um, like Tony said, tons of different groups on PB Nation and Facebook and, you know, local groups for people within your own state, you know, national groups, things like that, where you can start looking for players when you, you know, get to that bigger level. But, uh, yeah, and then you know, then uh, you know, then then really the next step is just starting small. Um, you know, whether it be a three man tournament, a five man tournament, you know, you get a couple guys together and just start playing. You know, you got to try and keep the same core guys together, playing out there every weekend, just getting in tournaments. You know, kind of getting your butt kicked. You ever go in your first tournament thinking that you're going to win, you're going to take first prize. I mean, everybody wants to win, everybody wants to do well, but again, it's unrealistic. You know, the guys that you know your top end pro guys will tell you the first tournament they played, they go, we got our butts kicked. You know, we took we took last place, or we you know finished ninth out of tenth, or you know whatever it may be. So. Um, you know, that, that'd be the, you know, be the next big thing I can recommend to you guys is just don't get discouraged easily. This is a tough sport. You know, there's no bones about it. Um, 
You got to you got to put in the time. You got to put in the work. You know, you're gonna you're gonna lose tournaments. Lots of practice. Yeah, lots and lots of practice. You're gonna lose tournaments. So, um, you know, just having a good attitude. You know, finding guys, surrounding yourself with other guys that you guys can support each other, help build each other up, not tear each other down. You know, you guys go out there, you lose a point. You shouldn't be coming off going, what the heck? You did this wrong. You did that wrong. You know, accusing guys. You know, you guys come off, you lose a game, or you lose an event, you need to sit down after and recap. You know, you know, what did we do wrong? What can we get better on? You know, how, you know, how can I help you? How can you help me? Uh, things like that. So uh, definitely recommend, you know, trying to get a positive group of guys, you know, that are committed to it and that, uh, you know, are, you know, there to help each other, you know, help each other grow out and grow and things like that. I mean, as far as any other, uh, you know, really any other big recommendations, like I said, it's, there's no, I mean, there's no, you know, set, set course you have to take. It's not like you're, you know, you're going to school and you want to be, uh, you know, you want to be a nurse and there's a strict regimen. Well, you have to enroll in this program. You have to take these classes. You have to do this clinical, you know, there's, you know, with uh, starting a paintball team, there's not exactly, there's not one, you know, 100% right answer. There's not, you know, the, you know, world registry of paintball teams. You know, that, you know that, that's another thing right there, another question we get asked. You know, it doesn't really take anything to, you know, register a team or anything like that. It's not, you know, you're not, it's not the NFL or anything like that where you have to be an official team. A team can just be, hey, a bunch you know, of guys me, getting together. You, you got, you got a gun. Well, this tournament's a three-man tournament. We got three guys. You know, we're a team. We come up, come up with a cool name, you know, things like that, and uh, you go from there. So, um, speaking of that, jerseys, stuff like that, all that stuff is coming down the road. It, once you get your team established, once again, going back to what Joe said, talk. Go talk to your field owner. Okay, now I've got my three, five, seven, ten guys. Whatever you got, if you want to start getting jerseys and pants, all the fancy stuff, come talk to the you know the shop owner of whatever local field you're at, and say, hey, we have. I've got. Here's my roster. Uh, is there anything you can do for custom jerseys for us? Kind of get everything flowing together, and then just stick together as a team. Communication, practice with the same core guys is what's going to build you up. Played on a lot of teams my days, and I, I definitely would like to think that I know what I'm talking about. So um, I'll tell you that much. Just just stick if you can. Get a bunch of guys together that a have money to support your habit, and yeah, b most that are loyal are going to show up. If you got a Sunday morning 8 a.m. practice, make sure you've got guys in your squad that are going to be reliable. You're not showing up looking around going, "I'm the only guy here at 8 a.m. and where's the rest of my team?" You got to find reliable guys. So, so yeah. I mean, yeah, for the most part, I think, uh, you know, I think we went over a lot of good points for you guys, uh, a lot of basics. Of course, as always, any questions, any things like that, throw them in the comments. But uh, whether it be you're looking to start a, I'm not, this isn't just a tournament um, team, whether it be a scenario team or a, you know, a tournament style team, yeah, obviously you're going to need your own gun, you're going to need your own hopper, your own pants, your own jersey, stuff like that. Um, just yeah. have the basics, like depending. If you want to do woods ball, your '98 custom and your and your your nitro tank and your standard hopper. If that's what you're chasing after, then that's completely fine. Just make sure you have your own equipment, your goggles, obviously, your gun, and your clothing. I mean, you don't need anything special to start a paintball team. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. There's not, uh, you know, not you know, not necessarily a set amount of gear, you know, that you guys need. Obviously, you need all the basics: your mask, your tank, your loader, things like that. Um, you know, like Tony said, just depending on what type of style, if you're going toward, towards tournament style, yeah, you're definitely going to need, you're going to start to want an upgrade, you know, getting get nicer guns and things like that. Um, but, you know, but don't put too much emphasis on it. You know, we, you know, see again a lot of these young teams or new teams say, all right, we got to get, got to get an entire gear package so everybody has the same gun, everybody has the same mask and things like that. You know, you guys don't need to go out and run out and buy, you know, all matching stuff, you know, right off the rip. You know, it's obviously cool to have a jersey that match and kind of give you that sense of unity, but... You know, I, I wouldn't worry too much, especially to start about chasing down and saying, oh, we all have to have the same shooting guns and everything like that. You just need good, reliable equipment. You know, there's, you know, speedball stuff. There's a lot of good guns that you can get for five, six, seven hundred bucks. You know, you're not spending crazy amounts of money on, um, you know, so that would be the other thing is, you know, don't get too caught up, you know, too wrapped up and all worrying about having the, the, the all matching gear and things like that. You know, save your money for paint. Like I said, it's expensive. Make sure you guys most importantly have money for paint because we'll see a lot of teams that go out. Everybody will blow two grand on a new gear package. So we all got the same gear bag and mask and underwear and all that crazy <laughs> stuff. And then, then they don't have any money for paint and then they're selling off their gear and now they don't got gear to play. So. Um, yeah, you guys don't have to get, you know, too wrapped up in the gear. Just have good, reliable stuff, you know, good mask, a good loader, a good tank, you know, good gun. Um, you know, just start from there. Just go out and play. You know, you guys play, you get better. It'll come, you know, it'll it'll come come with time, so. 
But, uh, yeah, other than that, if you guys got any other questions, anything you want, um, make sure uh, put it in the comments. Feel free to reach out to us if you see us at the field, anything we can do to help you guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, you know, stop and buy our uh, LoneWolfPaintball.com, check out the online store, tons of cool hoodies, t-shirts, things like that you can pick up. Um, as always, we're always giving away our YouTube shirts too, so any cool comments and that. So thanks for watching, guys.